the day of that the Vatican chose to bring awareness to the process of that they're going to criminalize abuse of adults by clergy. We are here through SNAP to bring awareness and to try to inform other adults who might find themselves presently involved in these relationships to tell them that it's not a relationship. It's abuse of power and authority. You're being exploited. I uh, was a victim of clergy abuse as an adult through my church and Holy Rosary. And I was 60 at the time. And I am here to stand in advocacy for all of God's children, no matter what age. Predators find their way in every profession. This is not slamming the Catholic Church. There are some fine priests, and I've experienced many of those. Includes her name because of this new change in Vatican law. Um, the diocese has already admitted that uh, uh, her allegations were credible. And so now that they've changed the law, we think it's time to add the, uh, her abuser to the list and any other abusers that they may have. Of, and these are names of people who worked or lived in the Sacramento Diocese who abused. You've done the best job probably of any diocese across the country, but you can still do better. It's really hard to be the first person to come forward. But if you're the second or third, it's easier. So once they get the names out there and someone sees, oh look, my abuser's name is there, they will either come forward or even if they don't come forward, they'll be comforted because they know they're not the only one, that it wasn't their fault.